Hey guys, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. Did you know that you can either paint something or you can powder coat it? What's powder coating? Well, stick around, we'll find out right after this. Hey there guys, I'm Kelly from Specialized Powder Coating. This is my company with my partner, Larry. Uh, we've been in business now here in this building for 25 years. I've been doing high-end coatings for 35 years. We're big into the hot rod, custom car, custom bike feel, uh, but we powder coat anything that'll stand still long enough, you know? <laughs> this is just some of the other stuff that we're gonna coat. Okay. This is all the different colors of powder. Yeah. All these boxes. All powder, okay. So, I mean, you know, we have like 1,500 colors. This right here, this this is the most expensive part of the of this process. Besides the oven, um, these guns are around seven or eight thousand dollars for this spray gun setup. Um, and all it's doing, the powder, this is the black powder. It's it's just like baby powder. So what it's doing, uh, this machine that's plugged into the um, in a you know a standard wall outlet and it changes the electrical uh into a real high a low kb changes the voltage um, and then air picks up the powder through this tube and when you pull the trigger on the gun here what it does it the powder comes through the gun and it shoots it out into a cloud Gotcha. The electrostatics, there's a little electrode yeah. inside of here. It's almost like a spark plug. So, like when you pull the trigger in front of your hand, it almost feels like if you're holding on to an uh, extension cord that's got a short in it. So, you know, when you spray the part, you could just wipe it off, blow it off, whatever, you know. If we take this off, there's the electro, you know. Uh, and that electro uh, it, charges the particles? Exactly. Oh. It shoots out an electrostatic cloud in front of the gun that all the powder is traveling through. So it the sticks. powder itself, yeah, sticks sticks to the part. Yes. The part, you know, is hung on a, a bar that's grounded in the boot. Yes. Uh, so, it's a, the exact same reason my like desk sticks to your TV screen all even. It's the electrostatics. Yeah. You go uh, And uh, so it's stuck to the part, a real even coat. And then they'll put it on these parts that are rolling and into the, one of the two ovens here. Okay. And depending on how thick the part is, uh, uh, you know, a real lightweight piece like those two bicycle hooks they'll go into the oven for you know 30 minutes 35 minutes the part has to get to 390 degrees for the powder itself to cure 390 degrees is that for every part it, yeah everything so if it's a lightweight hub or it's an engine block so it takes a lot longer on a real heavy piece you know gotcha uh, gotcha uh you know an engine block would be several hours uh, to be able to coat it. And it's just waiting time, you know? Um, he's gonna do these wheels right now.
getting preheated the parts. The parts were preheated. Uh, so they were in the oven, uh, all just sandblasted. And you can see how it's spraying it. Some of the areas already look a little shiny, the powder. It's, it's literally here in the powder right now. The only time you really do a part like that, uh, it's attracting a lot more powder. These are old rims that have a lot of bidding and stuff. So we're attracting a lot more powder, kind of filling it up. Sometimes you'll preheat a part uh, and paint it more. Then it's a real difficult piece. A lot of uh, deep corners, stuff like that, you know? So I'll do, do this and I'll put it in and flash gear it and then take it out and we'll do one regular coat on it. That'll be done. Yes. The part has got a lot of bars. You know, because uh, uh, you're you're charging the part with electricity. Uh, you know, if you do an off-road chassis or a sandrail chassis with all that tubing, you got to remember what you sprayed and how much you sprayed on every one of those tubes. You know, uh, uh, and then and then also thinking about how much of a charge you're putting in it. Once in a while, we'll get to the very end if it's a candy color it's, it's it goes silver first and then a candy after that it starts building up so much charge that it'll start kicking powder off uh, so we got to make sure it's grounded well uh, we've done stuff that you're on it so much we have to ground the part and just let it sit for an hour or so and let it kind of drain itself you know uh, it's, but it, it's, it's simple you know these motor mounts and stuff like that we can sandblast them, you know, clean up any, any, anything like that, powder coat them, and they're ready to go. And, you know, you can have this, this part right here blasted, coated, ready to use again in, you know, probably three hours, three and a half hours. Where paint, you can do that, you know. It's a lot more durable finish, and uh, it, it, it's simpler. You don't have all the solvents and stuff like that, you know. These are off of a junior dragster. Oh, dragster, okay, the dragster. Uh, so it's a, it's a metallic black. Okay. So we had to do the metallic first, and then it's a clear coat, you know, to protect the metallics. Gotcha, looks nice. But those pieces, you know, start to finish, we could do those in two and a half hours, and they're ready to bolt on the car. Nice. Where you couldn't do that with an automotive paint, you know? Yeah, real nice. Gotcha. So this is the oven. Yeah. So we can powder coat anything that's eight foot by ten foot by twenty-eight feet long. Nice, nice. It's just some of our finished parts uh, before the customer comes and grabs them. Uh, you know, we've got you know rear end housing, regular wheels. This is. It, uh, arms and stuff off of a new Raptor that the customer had all kind of polished out smooth. And we're gonna do a Cerakote, the ceramic, like gun coating on them. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same coating we did on those those King Shocks right there, the red and black ones. Super thin film, durable coating. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff and crazy colors, you know? Right. Like a matte black or something? Yeah, semi gloss black. Uh, we got this kind of candy purple. Yeah, get that. Uh, powder coating. When I think of powder coating, I, I don't think of such a shiny finish, but I guess they can come out really shiny. Yeah, I mean, they got the high gloss stuff and, and kind of almost anything you can think of. There's texture finishes and you know, high gloss and metallics and candies and, you know, uh, I mean, that gloss black wheel, you know, we just did that. Um, and this gentleman will do uh, one wheel at a time off of his car, you know, <laughs> so they'll, they'll all get done. Yeah. Um, you know, there's another kind of metallic candy, that orange on the motorcycle frame you know, uh, that turns real uh, you see the gold pearl in it when you take it out in the sunlight. Oh. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of cool, uh, a 
lot of cool stuff, you know. All right, guys, so if you didn't know what powder coating was, now you know. If you learned something, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And we also have some great products for you to check out on Calibrate.com. So don't forget to do that and sign up for the email list while you're at it to get some great content. See you next time.